All right, this is video two for the lathe project, getting this insert fully flattened down. Um, hopefully the video quality is at least a little bit better. I've got a piece of MDF to strap my phone to for a tripod, so big advantage there. But basically I started with a mildly flat surface that I kind of roughed in, and uh, this is kind of the process that I went through trying to get it actually flat, and I believe it's flat to a little under half a thou over 40 inches um, for the most part. I guess, uh, I guess the best way that I've figured out how to do this so far is um, using the surface plate every 18 inches um, to get a die impression and then uh, I'm going to try it going, basically moving the surface plate about two inches further each time to try to get rid of this low spot on the end. Um, this is also slightly low here, so I'm going to just start a little over um, and just make it pass all the way down. And then hopefully check with the straight edge to see if I have any twist and any bow or anything overall in the whole piece. Um, but you can see the contact is at least to me seems pretty decent um, for this individual spot. Um, I've just been going also and covering the uh, surface plate with some paper towels so it doesn't get covered in angle grinder dust. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much what I've been doing. Just going through each time and uh, taking out the high spots with the uh, angle grinder blade. that um, trying to just follow basically the hand scraping um, technique as close as I can with the angle grinder I've just been taking a piece of a block of ground steel that I have that's pretty flat with some sandpaper wrapped around it and then just get, whoops, sanding off the high spots um, just a couple of passes to hopefully take things down uh, I honestly don't know if it's really necessary, but uh, I guess it's still removing material in generally the right places. So either way, I guess it should be all right, hopefully. Uh, and then uh, just kind of wiping that off and then moving on to the next spot. Um, I'm not super confident how much dye I should really be putting on the plate. Uh, I'm trying to just get a thin layer, uh, maybe a couple drops put on the plate and then use it maybe four or five times and then add another drop or two of the uh, Prussian blue. But uh, to be honest, that's mostly guesswork. Um, but, uh, yeah, this, uh, right here, this spot, I know this, like, three inch, four inch section is low. I'm not really sure how that happened, but, uh, I'm gonna try to, my next plate, have it set on either side so I can lower these two and hopefully get that with some, uh, get some dye actually touching it pretty soon.
All right, so I've been working this area over quite a few times. Um, there's still, the dye is kind of making its way over, but it's still, it's still low here. Uh, the edge of the plate came out to here, so uh, that gives some idea. And then the edge, of, the other edge of the plate was right there. Um, I've been trying to shrink the uh, the dye marks and just split them with the angle grinder um, just very lightly um, and it seems like it's having a pretty decent effect um, they definitely seem to be shrinking and uh, slowly kind of moving this way but uh, I'll definitely have to go and spend a bit of time backtracking over to here so that that kind of evens out to a nice uh, I guess it'll be a little bit sloped, but I can correct that on the uh, this end plate here, which the headstock's gonna attach down to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going, and uh, after that, I'm gonna start roughing in this one, which is going to be terrible because it's out like something like thirty thou over its uh, length, which will be a issue. It's uh, it's been a couple of days. Um, I've been working on this a few hours every day, um, it's now Wednesday, um, so basically I've been going, started with the first 18 inch section right here, and then moved about an inch, inch and a half over, um, each time going, and it starts where, you know, I'll have die right here, and I'll have die at the other end of the plate, because the whole plate is at an angle here and it's only contacting on these two sides because this spot is very high. Um, I started at a downward angle to guarantee that the end spot would be high every single time. So then I continually take only passes right in that one inch section until I get full contact again. And then once I have full contact on the whole thing, then I move over to the next section and now I have, you know, contact here and then I'll have contact here and nowhere else and then I lower this spot here until um, until I get full contact along the full length of the plate again and I've done that uh, maybe ten times now um, and now I'm finally on the last section at the end here my sections are getting a little bit bigger because honestly I'm a little a little bit tired of this but also at the end I just won't be using it nearly as much so I'm a little bit less concerned if you know if it's not quite as perfectly straight there this is my first pass on this very last section so actually this one I kind of knew it would be something like this. You can see I've got contact here and here and right here, which unless I horribly misread things should mean that there's a high spot right here and a low spot right here because this whole thing used to be uh, twisted like this. Um, so there's lows on these corners, highs on these corners. So that's kind of Really, the vast majority of my grinding is going to be there. I know the right thing is to go and set it down and use the little rubber mallet to go and tap the corners to find the low spot. But just looking at this where I've got bluing all along here and just on that corner so far has been reasonably accurate. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to go and take this high spot down and probably do a couple passes in a row on that spot because at this point I've been sloping down this whole distance and so each section I've had to remove more material so now I've probably got to remove at least 10 or 12 thou in that area um, which will take forever but it's coming along I've, I've learned a lot going through here this has probably been 10 or 12 hours of work over the last couple days. Uh, before when I was getting bad impressions where it was just really light and kind of spotty, 
I believe it was just because I didn't have enough dye and I think I had a little bit of dust on the plate. But I've gotten better at making sure the plate's a little cleaner and getting the right amount of dye, I think. At least closer to the right amount. Um, and then uh, I've started making sure that I change directions even though it's not like hand scraping where you're gonna get a huge amount of chatter from trying to push a blade through. Um, the the marks and the ridges from the angle grinder, it, it just makes a much more uniform contact pattern if I switch directions each time or every other time or so. Um, so yeah, definitely learning one step at a time. Here. surface plate has not started feeling any lighter from the hundreds of times that I've done that now but we're almost done here for the second rail I'm gonna attach the first rail fully on here and then use a uh, dial indicator um, and maybe the straight edge because I know it's gonna want to sink into little tiny low spots and not give a super consistent reading um, but, uh, yeah, I shouldn't need to do the exact same thing with the surface plate a second time. Or at least I don't think so. Alright, well I finished the very last pass, um, this last little section back here. And then I blued up my straight edge and honestly, I will absolutely take that. There's a couple of small low spots but even in there you know you can still see it was at least pretty close to getting contact and um i guess here it's not amazing but uh overall that's really about as good as i think i could have asked for for it being a 18 inch uh surface plate using it to flatten a 40 some inch uh rail I might try to go and do a finishing pass in some way, but I think that's pretty close to as good as I'm gonna get it. Um, I used a one and a half thou feeler gauge and I couldn't get it in anywhere along the full length of my straight edge. Couldn't get it under. So I know it's flatter than that at least. It didn't seem to be very close to going under either, but uh, I, I'm calling that good enough, I think.